we'll be reading a story titled Butterflies Big and Small. This selection is expository, which means that it is nonfiction and we are going to be learning some facts about butterflies. On page 448, you can see all of those beautiful monarchs. Those pictures have a caption at the bottom which states, Monarch butterflies like to land in the same trees when they migrate. There are more than 725 species or kinds of butterflies fluttering around the United States and Canada. These fascinating creatures taste leaves with their feet and only see the colors red, yellow, and green. The monarch butterfly and the western pygmy blue butterfly share these same traits, but they are also different in many ways. Size and color. The western pygmy blue butterfly is the smallest butterfly in the world. It is just about a half inch across from wingtip to wingtip. That's smaller than a dime. Monarch butterflies are much bigger. They measure about four inches across. Size is not the only way monarchs are different from pygmy blues. Monarch butterflies are bright orange color with black markings. That makes them easy to see. Pygmy blue butterflies are mostly brown and blue and they blend in with their surroundings. Many people walk right by pygmy blues, unaware that they are even there. On the bottom of page 449, there is a diagram of a western pygmy blue butterfly. This diagram shows the parts of a butterfly. Wing, antenna, head, thorax, leg, abdomen. Moving around. Almost all butterflies migrate or move to different areas. The monarch's journey is the longest migration of any butterfly in the world. It spends summers in northern United States and Canada. Then it migrates south to Mexico in early fall. Many monarchs travel more than 3,000 miles. Western pygmy blue butterflies inhabit southwestern deserts and marshes from California to Texas. They migrate short distances north to Oregon and also to Arkansas and Nebraska. Both monarchs and blue pygmies migrate when the weather gets chilly. Butterflies are cold-blooded insects. They are hot when the weather is hot and cold when the weather is cold. As a result, both butterflies migrate to stay warm. They also journey north or south to find food. Boys and girls, before I go to the next section titled Finding Food, I'd like for you to go down to the bottom of page 450 and look at that map. It's titled Butterfly Migration. You can see that there is a map key and the orange arrows show the monarch butterfly's migration route and the blue arrow shows the western pygmy blue butterfly's migration route. Also, there is a caption that goes along with this picture which states the western pygmy blue butterfly stops to eat. Back to finding food. The western pygmy blue drinks the nectar of many kinds of flowers. It finds the swick thick liquid easily so its population has steadily grown. However, monarch butterflies are not so lucky. Just like the pygmy blue, monarch butterflies sip nectar from flowers. But the monarch butterfly has one main food requirement, the milkweed. Monarch butterflies must find this plant along their migration route. But what happens if there are no milkweed leaves? When people build houses in rows, there are fewer places for monarchs to find milkweed. If the monarch cannot find food, its population will decrease. The western pygmy blue and monarch butterflies are not endangered or at risk for becoming extinct now. But biologists are worried. Many other butterflies are endangered because people destroy their habitats. Help butterflies. Like all wildlife, monarch and pygmy blue butterflies should be respected. People need to preserve butterfly habitats. To help, they can work to change laws, plant milkweed, and make it illegal to destroy animal habitats. Learning about butterflies and what they need to survive is important. That way, there will be plenty of western pygmy blue and monarch butterflies for future generations to enjoy. One last picture and caption at the bottom. 
Monarch butterflies feed on milkweed.